Hello, today we're going to look at the congruence conjectures. Uh, in class, we go through why these work and other ones don't. Uh, now we're just going to go through an example um, of each one. So side, side, side is a congruence conjecture that works. So it, it's saying that if all three sides correspond, so that side's congruent to this side, this side's congruent to this side, and this side is congruent to this side, then we know that the triangles are congruent, so we know that the angles are going to be congruent as well. And a side angle side situation, we have an angle and the two sides that are sitting next to it. So this angle is congruent with that angle. This side and that side are both going to be congruent with the corresponding parts of the other one. So this would be side angle side. Now, angle side angle is when I have two angles and the side in between them. So I gotta mark those separately. So I have this one being one, this one being two dashes, and the side in between them is congruent. So if I know these three uh, match with three and another, then I know that the other two sides in this angle also have to be congruent. Side side angle. So if I have a side, uh, or no, side angle, angle. So I have a side and the two angles that are not uh, surrounding it. So the side and then an angle, angle. Um, this side, and then this angle matches there. This angle matches there. So it's side, angle, angle. Notice that this one, the side is not between the two angles. Where side, angle, side, angle, the side is between the two angles. Just like in the writing. S is between the two A's. Now there's two that do not prove congruence, and it's side, side, angle, and uh, angle, angle, angle. So side, side, angle, that doesn't work, because if I have a situation, uh, this side has to be. So if I have a situation like this, where this is 7, this is 10, and uh, um, no, this is 5, uh, if this is like 30 degrees or something, this is a side-side angle. But I could also make that 5 go this way. So if I had 7, and the 5 would go this way, and then we could still have our 30 degrees. And so you, there's two different triangles with the same measurements. An angle, 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 if I have a small triangle where they're all 60 degrees, and a big triangle, and they're all 60 degrees, then uh, these are not congruent because one's much smaller than the other one. All right, so now we have to look at uh, one last one where side-side angle doesn't work unless it's 90 degrees. So uh, so if this is 90 degrees, then we could just use Pythagorean theorem to get this third side. And so it's really a side-side-side situation. We call that hypotenuse leg, because if we have the hypotenuse and the leg of a right triangle, then it would be um, a uh, hypotenuse leg situation. All right, so now when we're doing problems like this, on your packet, I noticed that this, that these are pretty, a little too faint. Um, hopefully, you can see them on the video. Um, and this one has three. Uh, if I have A, B, C, this is a congruence conjecture. This is congruent. Uh, congruence uh, sign is congruent, and we have to see what matches up with A and the triangle down here, and that would be D. B matches up with E and C matches up with F, so D, E, F. Now, if we have to think about what congruence conjecture we use, well, we know three sides in this one or three sides in that one, so that's by S, S, S. Now, if we look at this, we have this side, the angle in between, and this other side. So first, let's name them K, M, L is congruent to f, o, x. And notice that we're matching things up correctly. 
and now the angle is between the two sides. So we're going to say side, angle, side. All right, this one, we know this side is congruent with this. This is congruent with this. But we only have two things. So we have to think, why is this congruent with this? That's because they are vertical angles. So once we have that, then there's two sides with an angle in between. So it'd be side, angle, side. Now we just have to name things right. So B, E, A. B is going to match up with C, so it'd be C, E, D. Now this is the final one I'm going to do before I let you figure out the rest on your own. If we have these, uh, this we have two sides, but this third side is in both. So it's really all three sides, so side, side, side. Now when we name it, if I have H, G, E, the first one, part you can name any way you want. The second one, you got to make sure it matches. H is going to correspond with F. They're the same size. G on this one is going to correspond with E over here. And then G would match up. This, this uh, G is going to match up with that E. All right, hopefully that was enough to help you through some of these. Good luck.